retailer, The Limited, announcing it's going to close all 250 of its brick and mortar locations. The company is just the latest victim of a very challenging retail environment that's sweeping the industry. In fact, just last week, you had Macy's saying it's going to close another 100 stores and slash about 6,000 jobs after a disappointing holiday shopping season. So, what does this mean? Are we really witnessing the death of brick and mortar retailers? As we currently know them, joining me right now, Patriot Group CEO Eric Schiffer. Good to have you here, Eric. You know, Hi. look, it's hard to compete, right? I mean, Amazon's out there. It's easier. You just go on your phone. They sell pretty much everything. Or you can go on your phone to any other retailer, shop for the best price. So why bother going into the store anymore? Well, you got it. And I think that's what's happening in large part, certainly with millennials, which, you know, the limited largely focuses on. And you're seeing it. I mean, you saw it with Macy's. The other big thing here is I think apparel is taking a big hit. This is the second year in a row that people just, they're not spending as much on clothing. And I think that's another piece of it. Amazon's chipping away, though. No question. You're going to see it continue. But retailers, in terms of being in locations, I don't think are going away. In fact, Amazon is even investing in certain stores in different locations. So for the right stores, like Home Depot mm -hmm. and others, they're going to be around. Because you need to go see that, feel it, touch it. You know, I also wonder, Eric, if, if something's lost in all this right now, and that's customer service. I mean, I think about when I was a little kid, and it, we went always to the same clothing shop there on Main Street and the same shoe store on Main Street, and we knew the owners, and they were part of the community, and there was this sense that, you know, they, they knew what you wanted, and they really took care of you, right? It was a customer sure. service very personal environment. As you have seen sure. the expansion of all these department stores, is Macy's a great example of it, right? I mean, Macy's went out and acquired a gazillion smaller brand. Department stores got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And what gets lost in that process? Human connection, interaction. And so all of a sudden, you know, it, it becomes this big warehouse where you go in, you buy this, that, or the other, but there's none of the sort of personal element that you would have gotten from the local department store there on Main Street. Uh, is there still a market for that? I mean, can we get back to any oh. kind of real customer service in small enterprise businesses? Of course, of course. Look, connection matters, it's certainly with women even more so, that the relationship and the connection. And there are many stores that are going to continue to thrive because they get that. There's no mm -hmm. question. Uh, whether it's a Nordstrom's where they remember your birthday, they remember what you bought, what's happening with your kids, and even smaller stores, not going away. But what's gone on online is Amazon has done kind of the same thing. They figured you out, right? They understand mm -hmm. what are the thi types of things that you like, what are the things you might be interested in. So they project into the future. They do almost a smarter version of what you get in these smaller stores, but you don't get the human piece. But wait, it's coming. I think it'll be coming. I think with virtual reality, you'll literally be connecting with someone <laughs> virtually right in front of you. I don't know whether to be happy all. about that or <laughs> just scared. Anyway, it is changing mm -hmm. as, we, uh, as we watch it all unfold. Thanks for being here with your perspective.